Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about choosing a brand name. So in the other video, you have decided on what your niche is. And let me just do a quick recap. Basically, choosing a niche will require two things. It will require you to choose something that you have the ability to record. So if you want to do gardening, you have to have a garden. You know, if you want to talk about a certain country, it would really help if you live in that country. Basically, you have the ability to film your videos, the capability of filming your videos. But the other thing, which is the more important one, is that you like and you consume what you're about to talk about. So, for example, I like to read science fiction. It would be very easy for me to create videos every single day for you know five years about science fiction if I really wanted to. But that's me. You should find what you do every single day for free, right? Whether it's a hobby or whether it's a passion or whether it's curiosity, whatever you do, something that you consume or something that you like to do, but you have to have staying power as well and you have to think long term. It's going to be something you're going to be doing for five to ten years, ideally for life, all right? Now, once you've chosen your niche, you need to pick a name for that niche. And I'm going to show you in this video how to do that using the power of AI. So, like traditionally, what people would tell you to do in other courses would be to take your name and go ahead and hire a freelancer, and they would do all that stuff. But I'm going to just show you a quick, easy way is go to go to Namelix, right here, N-A-M-E-L-I-X, and then you go ahead and you type in your niche. So you can go into weight loss. You can go into let's go into I don't know something not boring. How about AI tools on generate? And then you can go ahead and select the criteria. You can go ahead and make it a three to six letter word, medium name, or long name, which is 12 letters and above. I tend to go with a short name because it's easy to remember and easy to pronounce. Right? And then you can also go into name style. You can go into um, brand keywords. Uh, I would go name style would help you with different settings. You can go to person's name, real world compound world multiple words non-english words misspellings brandable names i like rhyming words because it, it's catchy all right so I, i'm just gonna leave that here and then you just click on generate so right here give it a few seconds and there you go you have quite a bit of options and color schemes for the ai ai tools niche you got manual bot virtual bot predictive synth Predictive base, tool tough. Some of them are good. Some of them don't make really sense. Uh, a lot of sense. Let me see. Cyber agile. Serta bot. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And they, they even give you mock logos for you to pick and choose. You, you can go ahead and pick one of these. You got machine robot. You got a lot of them. And if you don't like it, you can go ahead and uh, create new names. And you can also save the ones that you like. You don't need to buy it, right? Because you see the price here. That's, that's five thousand four hundred and ninety-five dollars to buy this logo, this design, and this brand. Like it, it's not really worth it. All you're looking for is just a name. So go ahead and, and select a name that you like, and you there you go. You had that. Uh, I will show you in the next video how to design a logo so that you don't have to pay this uh, you know, outrageous price. So that's the power of AI for you. No, so no iterations and revisions of back and forth between you and a freelancer. You just a few clicks and you have a whole bunch of different names. I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.